Okay, yesterday I posted a poll on Instagram and uh, asking everybody like, hey, would you rather see how we put together a professional training kit or would you like to see how we put a budget training kit together? And everybody was like, hey, let's, let's see what the budget kit is. A couple people were, uh, hey, we're balling on a budget, I feel it. Um, you wanna be able to train your dog like a professional. Well, first off, you're always gonna hear me say, it's not necessarily how much you spend on the equipment, it's what you spend on the training. So get a good trainer, get somebody who knows what they're talking about uh, for what you need, right? I work on obedience, I work on pet obedience, and I work on uh, behavior modification for depending on what the situation with the case is. And so I'm not a sport dog trainer. No, I, I enjoy sport dog stuff, uh, you know, uh, shoots and all that good stuff. I love watching it, I love, you know, seen the techniques and I love learning about the techniques, but that's, that's not what I'm into. That's not what I do. So I don't even try to claim that. Um, so yesterday I went to Home Depot with about a hundred bucks and I ended up walking out of there spending $65 on everything that I have in here. And so everything that I have in here um, gave me exactly what I need to make a professional training kit. So a couple things that uh, I talked to a couple other trainers and I said, hey, what, what do you guys, carry around what are your five main things and everyone said well you need a, a short line a long line you need a climb or some kind of raised bed surface that kind of thing right or a couple of people said touch pads um, you obviously need your long line your short line you need some kind of collar and so okay cool we can make all that happen really fast really quick really easy and then a couple people including myself I like having cones so everything in here okay you can budget up even more than this um, and I'll get into that later. But for the most part, I spent 65 bucks. We got our long line, our short line, we got tugs. Uh, we can use our tug as a fetch. I also got a flirt or prey pole, however you wanna call that. That's not necessary. Um, I've done it forever without the actual pole itself and just using a rope with a tug at the end of it, right? Or a, a toy at the end of it. And so everything I have in this box right now, I'm gonna go through it. And um, we spent out of 100 bucks, 65 bucks. And looking at this, there's still spaces you could have you could have saved money, or I could have saved money, and I probably could have dropped this down, maybe to being right under fifty dollars, and you know maybe you don't need as much equipment as I think uh, you need as a professional trainer. Stop trying to eat my money. Um, Zion's over here saying, "Hey man, come on, pull out the tugs, pull out the stuff." She's already been kind of hanging out with me while I've been putting the stuff together. So let's get into it. So first off. You need a way to transport all your, your your equipment, your gear, right? Cool. So here we go. We have a nice uh, home depot tote. Okay. Um, you're always gonna hear me say you make sure you have poop bags. Make sure you have something to clean up after your dog. Well, remember, we're on a budget, so I don't got money to spend on bags. Ask them to put bags, all your equipment in bags. Yeah, you're taking it in the tote. Sweet. But ask them for bags. Look. Okay. And like your abuelita should have taught you, you fold them up. Okay, you fold them up, you take a bag, you put them all in a bag, we got poop bags. Okay, falling on a budget, here we go. Right, um, I decided to go with brass clips and this kind of rope, okay? So this is my long line, my long line just braided up right now. We got, uh, it's about a 20 foot long line that I made and it has a brass clasp, okay? Why brass? Because I like them, they're heavy duty, they work, they last forever. We got a short line. Um, it's 10 bucks for 100 foot of rope, okay? So if you want to save money, you don't have to get the brass clips. You could have very easily uh, made slip lines, okay, or slip leads. So I could have made a four foot, five foot slip lead, um, and then I could have made a 20 foot slip lead. I don't like that idea, uh, but you know, so that's why I went with the brass. So we have our short line, our long line, okay. I need to be able to give my dog water. This is a little painter's bowl, little uh, paint bowl, you know, you put paint in there, whatever, dollar something, okay. Not even two bucks. I got a water bowl for my dogs, okay? Now, to carry my treats, to carry my snacks, my treat, my toys, whatever else, my tug, two dollars. You got a two pocket apron. You put your phone in one side, you put your treats on the other side. You put your ball and your tug on one side, okay? And you, you put your treats or, or whatever else that your dog works for on the other side, okay? House keys, yeah, that way you don't have to use your pockets. Sweet, so we got our, our treat pouch, okay? I like cones. I like having cones so that I can walk my clients through uh, different kinds of walking drills or just to work with the dog on different things. So these are 98 cents a piece. These are just flower pots. Cheap plastic flower pots. I got six of them. Okay? You only need four. 
You really only need two, but four. Um, I like having six so I could set up uh, figure eights and um, four corner drill or whatever else. So we got six. Maybe I don't need six. Maybe I only set up four. Maybe I only set up two when I'm working a dog. But either way, cones. Boom. 98 cents a piece is six bucks. Okay, six bucks on cones. Boom. Um, now, all of this stuff, of course, you can upgrade it. You can get better stuff. You can get nicer stuff. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you, right? Um, the next thing I did was I spent 10 bucks on burlap. Uh, it's like a three feet by 24 feet uh, big old roll of burlap. Boom. Okay, and I still have a ton of it. Look at all this. I have all of this. Okay, throw that over there. And of course, I knock over a water bottle. A plus to me. Um, <laughs> As soon as I pull this out, hey Zion. Zion's like, hey man, I know what that is. That's my little tug toy you had me playing with earlier. Yes, we got a nice little tug toy. I can also toss this one. I kind of knotted it up in the middle, make it more like a ball. What's up, Sammy? Okay, so we have our tug. Oh, I'm gonna throw that in here so Zion doesn't run off with it. Okay, put some of the stuff back in here because Zion's liable to run off with your stuff and give me a chase if she likes to be chased. Okay, here's another tug. Zion! Itchy scratchy. You're not helping. You're not being the best uh, uh, demo puppy. Yeah, there you, oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, she's like, I'll be the best demo puppy ever, bro. There we go. Okay. So we have our container to hold on to everything. Okay. And I got a puppy that's willing to tug on some tug toys. Let me see if I can't get her to tug over here. Hey, hey. I know. She's liable to pick up anything. She's just a puppy. So here we go. Boom. Okay. Burlap. Rolled it up a little bit, cut some strips, tied it up in a knot, and I got a perfect tug for my dog. Okay, perfect way to play with my dog, perfect way to get my dog engaged with me. We can work on the drop it, our leave it, outs, whatever you want to call it, right? We got a nice, oh, good girl, you're so strong. Oh, good girl, see if you can't get her off of that. Oh, she got both of them. There we go, use her a little bit, get her off of it. Next thing. Okay. Um, I got this nice little carabiner so I can either hook her up to the fence or not. This is one of those items that I got that I'm going to use to upgrade in my personal main kit. And this is just a tent stake or a stake tie-out, whatever. You can screw this into the ground, hook that up, hook that up to your short line, hook your puppy up to the short line, and your dog's in a stake. Can't go anywhere. So, not necessary. Um, I'll use my carabiner to clip the dog to fences, poles, whatever else. Um, so not needed. You can also go with like a $2 tent stake if you get a, a mallet or a hammer, you can hammer that one in. And so this one was like nine bucks, eight, nine bucks, whatever. So not needed. You can cut that out of your budget kit if you really want to save a little bit more. That's cool. Um, and then a couple of the last things here we go. Ended up making a slip collar. Hey Sam, come here. So we can put that on Sam. Right, I got me a slip collar, so now I don't have to worry about going anywhere and spending 10, 15 bucks on a collar. Okay, again, I could have made a slip lead. No, I want, I want an actual collar. I can flip uh, my short line onto or my long line onto, and so now I got a slip collar. Boom. Okay, perfect for one size fits all. I know. Thank you, Papa. I then took more of that 100 foot rope and some more of my burlap. Okay. And again, you don't need the PVC, you just use the rope and a piece of burlap. Um, you obviously don't even need this toy. But this is so that I can tease and mess with my dog a little bit. See if I can't get one of these guys to play with her at the moment. Oh, there she goes. Zion's a feisty girl, so she'll play tug with me just about all day. And this is to kind of just keep my dog engaged with me, get my dog exercise, get my dog doing some tugging, some pulling. We work on our uh, impulse control, okay, with this. So this is our float toy. Boom. And so all of this, not that expensive, right? Spent, like I said, 65 bucks. I could have cut this down, not gotten this. Um, that's eight bucks. Instead of brass clips, I could have got the metal ones. And those are, I think, like five or six bucks for, for two of them, whereas I spent eight bucks on uh, two of the brass clips because I like brass. That's that's just my fault. Okay, for liking what I like. And then, all right, you got two options here. Zion, hold on to that puppy. Let's see if we 
can't fish her in. Up, up, up. Come on. We're gonna talk about a stay platform. Okay, drop it. Thank you. Come on up. Go, up, 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 up. Oh my goodness. Come on. There we go. I'll drop it. Boom. I got a platform. Okay. Uh, if you're concerned about you want a climb and a touch pad, sweet, let me show you. Okay, good girl, mama, off. There we go, good girl. Okay, we want a touch pad and a climb. So I go, sweet. There's my touch pad. I'm going to fall out. That's okay. There we go. Put that down. Now, not only do I have a climb, a lifted platform, I also got a touch pad. Okay. And touch pads are just for a go to your place, go to your spot, that kind of thing, so we can target. And so if you want a ball on a budget, you want to train a dog on a budget, don't spend a lot on, on the equipment. Go to Home Depot. Get yourself a $2 apron. Get yourself 100 feet of rope. I still have plenty of rope. Okay. I still got plenty of burlap. Okay. And for most of these dogs, especially puppies, they don't know no difference. Right? Um, a new puppy, especially if you got a new puppy. Okay. Zion! She don't care. She goes, oh man, that's something to tug on? Sweet, I'll play tug with you. Okay. Now I was going to get a ball, but I didn't want to spend $4 on, on the ball that they had. And then they had like a $15 glow ball. So again, if you want to spend more money, that's fine. Now, with that leftover money, you know, that I got, I can go and buy a nice bag of dog food or, or a good bag of dog treats, but I prefer to buy dog food, healthy dog food. And I'll spend 50 bucks on dog food. And I got a huge bag of snacks and just train my puppy with dog food, puppy food. Some burlap tugs. Okay. There we go, get her going. about this or you could about that I know what I could have got but we're trying to do this on a budget so if you want to do this on the least amount of money you buy yourself one of these uh, totes you buy yourself a hundred feet of rope you buy your burlap you don't need the bowl okay you get a water bottle you cut the bottom off your water bottle you got a free uh, little cup for your dog you don't need cones okay you can use rocks on the floor this, this helps you puppy have some cones Okay. And we get our leash. Check this out. We got a leash. Zion already has a collar, so if you want to get a nice collar, you get yourself a nice collar. But here's my professional kit that I can use to train just about every dog I got here. I do everything we do here. My leash pressure. Get her on there. A little leash pressure. Sit. Up around. There she goes. Good girl, mama. Still gotta work on that. There's no there's no food in there. Penny's looking for the retriever roll that I keep in my, my actual main kit. Sam coming over here to investigate. What's going on, guys? I know. There we go. Same thing. Okay. And that's everything I need for training a dog. And so stay tuned and we'll take this to the park and we'll put it to use in the park. I'll show you guys how we really do some real good stuff with it.